so St. Louis, their bats have come to life here the last two nights. Good thing, too. Look at those records. St. Louis, last place in the Central, Braves first in the East, but for the ejections, you flip it around. Cardinals first, Braves last in the respective divisions. Funny how that always happens. The last two nights, they pounded out eight home runs. Hello, Andy. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Got the call on the inside corner. Starting this one up in the fifth, I could have started it earlier. Edmonds not happy, manager Marmol's not happy. You can see why that pitch was in incorrect on all systems, including that two-inch buffer zone eval equivalent. This reminds me of Laz Diaz's ejection of Aaron Boone because that also started early with some in-out questions. Leading to a later ejection on a pitch that wasn't as bad by any means. Similar thing happens here. This is the next inning. And he gets a call there on the inside corner. Just like before, this one isn't blatantly incorrect. It's in that buffer zone, 0 0.72 inches off zero edge specifically. But when you're watching iPads all game, you're already locked and loaded, even though just like the very last video when MLB told teams not to use video to argue because the system sometimes can be wrong, especially within the one inch margin, that's exactly what they do anyway. Let's count the ejections. He's either shooing away a cat or... No, that's Ollie. Was it Ali or somebody else? Another historical repeat. When Joe Torre told managers stop arguing balls and strikes in 2016, managers stop, but assistant coach ejections skyrocketed. Turner Ward, of course, follows that model. It's been a tough night for Les, I'll be honest, but... Well, there have definitely been some unhappy Cardinals in this ball game. Ollie came out dead-faced. With Ollie and Aaron being so stoic about it, I think there might be something to the idea that MLB sent managers a memo to cool down. Ollie at this point, Chip. Well, you're here. I'm here. And Laz Diaz is still there as well. This was a lot of fun in Atlanta. Our thanks to our great crew here at True. Goodbye, Andy.